All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. Now, I'm on the mission editor, and I'm showing you some... Are they new planes? I'm not really sure, but check that out. That's a P-36G. And my allies, wherever they may be. Not those ones, the blue ones. Those are H-75A2s, also. Um, Curtis Hawk variants, and I believe they were French exports, but they're German captured ones. Pretty interesting. Hey, buddy. Yeah, so some P36Gs. And uh, they're on like really good mode right now, but the mission and editor is just a pretty cool way to kind of see. There's a lot of kind of novelty aircraft on, and uh, I'll show you those momentarily after I mop up these bad boys. So, uh, Let's take a look. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to access the mission editor if you're not really familiar, and then kind of how to navigate around to kind of spot these uh, new and or just hidden planes currently. So go to game modes, hit missions, and then in the bottom left, hit mission editor. Then you'll choose the operation, and basically you have to choose the operation to decide which two nations you get to look at. Um, so we're going to start with the Battle of Berlin, which will be Germans and Russians. And we are going to play on the Axis side because we want to check that out. And we're going to do a bomber cover mission. Um, the bomber cover mission will basically say, since we picked Axis, we will get to pick both fighters and bombers for the Axis. And only fighters or interceptors uh, for the uh, Allies. So... Here's an example. Well, it did, yeah, see, even though it says ally, it's the Axis powers, so that's a little strange. So, you scroll down this list and it'll show the different planes you can access, and you'll probably notice, first off, what we saw in that um, custom mission right there was the Hawk H-75A2, and the H-75A2, I believe, was the French export version that the French Air Force used so that would explain how the Germans were able to capture enough to where you know it'd be a premium plane I would imagine for the Germans um, currently not in the game right now although you can speculate that with a tier 2 tier 3 um, dogfighter like this it would be a very well sought after premium plane to fill some of those you know 0 to 3 fighter gap pretty much that the Germans have you have some decent Heinkel 112s, um, but the Hawk would be well received. And I believe the uh, Finns used it as well. In the Finns, Finland, were very well known for customizing their aircraft, um, upgrading guns and changing things around. So it may be a totally different experience in that it may have different armament systems or an added armament system such as an extra machine gun, which would be pretty cool. And if you had a finished paint job, well, I can I can promise you that many people would buy that rather quickly. But then, one of my favorites, just because it truly is a novelty aircraft, um, in that it's not in the game right now, and there's nothing that the Germans have like it yet, and that's the Heinkel 51B2 hydroplane. That's their naval float plane that, you know, you could imagine... Um, bigger capital ships using as scout planes uh, catapult launched or craned over dropped in the water um, but yeah pretty pretty sweet and then you look here one two three four five something's not right there's an extra Heinkel 112 and it is the B2 with a rather cool paint job and I can't tell on the back there if that is French or maybe Romanian my guess would be Romanian paint job, but feel free to correct me if I am incorrect. And then scrolling down, there's nothing else really that new. Um, and then for the Axis bombers, you have all the Sparvieros, uh, your Junkers and your Heinkels and your Dorniers. So, and then we will go back. So we've seen the uh, kind of new and or hidden German aircraft, or those just not put in the lineup yet. Um, and then, actually, I want to make 
I wonder if the Poe 2 is in here. We're going to change it to Allies. Same Battle of Berlin, so now we'll be Russian. We're going to pick the Russians. Yes. We got a little glitch here. Battle of Berlin. Um, we'll do bomber cover mission. We will apply that. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go down the Russians. We have three Chaikas, a number of I-15s. From what I heard, I believe it was the Yak-15 was in this mission uh, editor prior to patch 1.31's release. So sometimes there's little hints as to what's to come and I'm not gonna catch everything so feel free to double check this uh, I'm not as familiar with the Russian aircraft as I am with some of the other nations but let's see it seems to be in order a lot of the lend -lease Cobras although I'm wondering if any of these would be extra because there seems to be a lot but then again these could be those uh, limited time premium aircrafts and for the most part, this seems uh, normal to me, but double check and let me know if I miss something. And now we'll go through the bomber line, and I'm even more unfamiliar. We'll check this out. I'm pretty sure this is unique. This is a SB-2M Spanish. So this would be one of the planes that took part in the Spanish Civil War in a Spanish paint job. That's awesome. There are tons of bombers. <laughs> this is going to be an area where I am going to need your guys' help to see what I missed because the Russians have so many of them and I've never really flown bombers aside from the PE-2 and TU-2s and the SU-2 because that, that just has a special place in my heart if you saw that historical battle when Intac and I played in those a long, long time ago. But regardless, I know for one, this one looks rather unique, and it is the Spanish variant, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we've already seen the German fighters, so we're going to go back. And now we're going to choose the Battle of Britain, so that we get the British. We will choose the Allies, and we will... Where is this scenario? Waypoint fly. We want Bomber Cover Mission. We're going to be the allies, so we'll be able to access the British fighters and British bombers. Now, you got your two French planes, including the Gift D-521. But then the Gladiators. We only have the Gladiator Mark II currently in the lineup. The Mark II F and the Mark II S are new. And then you have the uh, Premium Tux Gladiator. So that right there, we've got two new biplanes. Um, not sure. The paint jobs don't seem to correspond with the Spanish Civil War at all. And uh, if you've watched any of my videos before, then you should be aware that I would love to have a specialized uh, map to allow a Spanish Civil War type historical battle scenario. So rolling on down, this is also in the American tree as well, because well, actually you're seeing American fighters as well. British and Americans seem to be lumped together <clears throat> in a lot of these missions. Um, and the P-36 G Hawk. We have the A and the C, and then we have Rasmussen's Hawk. Um, but this one is new, and that was the one we just saw in the battle. Scrolling down, everything else seems to appear to be in order. Um... Yeah, for the most part it seems like it's fine. However, we do have two new bombers, which I'll be happy to show you. The first of which is Boston Mark I, and the second of which is the DB-7, which is a French bomber. So, a little more uh, French flavor. Although, this one's been in for, uh, I think, a few patches. This is actually my first time and it is in the middle of patch 1.33 that I have checked the mission editor. But if you want to see some of these in action, unfortunately I'm not sure if you can fly them. If you can, I haven't figured that out yet though. I just wanted to give you a heads up on how cool this was. But see some of these custom, or not custom, you know, unique aircraft that you don't have in your lineup. Oh yeah, that is what we were going to do. Uh, I already checked and I didn't see it. So, 
I didn't see the Poe 2. He wasn't even in here. No Poe 2 in the bomber lineup, unfortunately. Yeah, so the Germans have a P-36, or known as the H-75A2. They have the Heinkel 51 float plane and the Heinkel 112B2. Let's see, the Russians, there's that uh, Spanish SB-2M. The Americans have a P-36G Hawk. And then I even think, oh, this is what I forgot to look at. We'll go back. I'm going to have to do, I think, a Battle of Midway. Should work, although we probably only have naval planes. Here we go. P-Shooters. Um, currently in the game we have the A-33, this one, the A-34M2, and the A-35, or B-35, rather. So we have the A-35, and then an A-34. So there's a few extra P-shooters, basically. <laughs> Nothing crazy there, but there are a few extra P-shooters. Anyway, I'm Baron. I thought you uh, would find this interesting, and let me know if you found any other aircraft that I missed that are in the mission editor. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, we are gonna fly our B-17s, and fortunately, in this historical battle, we got Bulge. And although these guys do not seem to be staying in formation, bulge. what we're attempting to do is to get in this formation with them. So we're gonna have a, a super B-17 formation. <laughs> They're just doing their own thing. I wish you could see how far away they were from you. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot.